guys, so today we're gonna take on another review. So, um, as we talked a long time ago about the Lineage OS 14.1 on the unofficial ROM for the Galaxy Tab 2, and also the AOSP ROM available right now, but now it's got a new one. So, recently Andre Andy have posted um, a news inside his main page. Um, it says that he's gonna start stop the Android development for for quite for quite a long time. So this will be the last con con contribution right now in the in the Android development process for the Galaxy Tab Two. So you can see right here it seems to be pretty stable. I try to get the focus on there, and then I go ahead and. And swipe up. So I got on body detection enabled, and everything looks and everything acts pretty, pretty nice. And also the the Google Assistant stuff. Hello. Hi. Hi. What can I do for you? Like that. So we're gonna come back right here. So wait a second. I'm gonna take my tablet off orientation all right so now it's back there and I have to show you this is a really stable ROM um, in the previous video I've talked about the lineage OS 14.1 that shows out to be to be pretty unstable um, the music lag right there is no longer existed and I I've already heard that somebody that says um, that says they have not been experiencing this issue so now I'm gonna go ahead and, and play a song to prove it. So right here I got my MP3 test. This is an NCS release, so that means I'm not getting copyright strikes. So I'm gonna turn on the volume a little bit. You can see it works pretty well. The, the music visualizer works pretty well too. And everything just works pretty well. <laughs> yes, everything works works nice. And we can also go into navbar settings. There were no longer, no longer lags over there. I mean, there will be lags, but I don't see any, any like, like something stops working right there. Um, so I think that's pretty great. So we're gonna stop that music right there a little bit. It's, it's sometimes a little bit now. Okay, so this is the navigation bar settings. Um, so it it it's pretty great. So I I re I recently just used the APK right here. It's the assistant app. It's basically just a shortcut. It's not where you can you can get assistant now on your on your device. But I actually use that as a as a replacement of my home button. When I first get into this ROM, I can't figure out how to how to remap my no navigation buttons so instead i use this app now it works perfectly and everything seems to be pretty smooth and and fluent about it um app opening is just a little little bit chunky right there so right there so everything works pretty fine that's about it thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe hope you enjoy